Hi, welcome. SourceFed, Joe Beretta. Elliot Morgan. Okay. Since 2009, the Kepler telescope has been cruising the beyond and scanning the heavens. And it's done a pretty dang good job in discovering 2,700 planet candidates and 130 definite planets. That's a lot of planets. But sadly, the days of pointing at stars in search of the dance of the planetary wobble wobble may be over. Two of the four gyroscopic reaction wheels inside Kepler ceased, and now it cannot properly point itself at the stars. The telescope requires three control wheels to stay in position when it counteracts the force of the mighty, mighty solar winds. This somewhat sentient machine realized there was a problem and has since put itself into safe mode. Just drifting and kicking it. Just drifting it. At this point, the original mission hangs in the balance as the Earth team attempts to come up with ways to jumpstart the stationary wheels. But the team is trying really hard to remain positive. William Barecki, Kepler's chief scientist, said, I think the most interesting, exciting discoveries are coming in the next two years. The mission is not over. But the mission is not taking data. There is a reasonable possibility that we will be able to mitigate that problem. I don't think I'd be a pessimist here. That's right, Baruki. Quench your interstellar thirst with that planetary glass that's half full of space juice. If the wheels fail to start spinning again, all is not lost with this $600 million investment. The telescope can be used for other types of astronomy, and scientists back on Earth will be sifting through the cornucopia of data that Kepler has already beamed back home. Well, uh, here's hoping they can kick the tires a bit and get this thing going, but if they can't, I personally believe the investment was well worth the $600 million price tag. Because of Kepler, we don't just think there are other planets out there now. We know there are other planets orbiting stars. So this space jalopy opened up minds and inserted wonder and dreams, and that tickles my cerebellum. <laughs> I love having my cerebellum tickled. Tell me what your favorite planet is in the comment section down below. Also, why? Please click the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit this annotation for more source-fed stories. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Elliot Morgan.